Okay, now in this question we're being asked to ask some calculations and to work out um, a temperature. So we're told that uh, we've got some carbon dioxide, 50 mils of it, we've got some granular carbon, and uh, that we change that to a set temperature, and then once we're finished with this we find that there's 60 mils of gas that's present. Um, we're told it's basically similar to the reaction on the other page and um, given some other provisors to help us uh, work this out now first of all it's kind of a good idea to get the equation right now um, obviously if we've got carbon dioxide and carbon which is what we're told we know from the previous page it makes carbon monoxide and if we were to balance that we just put a 2 in front of that now I know that's um, the opposite of what I wrote on the previous question in terms of the equation but on the previous question I was really just concerned on what was a forward and what was the um, reverse um, equation and here we've been told that if these are the reactants and this is the product and it's a similar situation how do we work this out? Well initially we're told we have 50 mils of this one gram of that, although that's a solid and it's not terribly important. And we're trying to work out what this is at the end and we're going to end up with a total of 60 mils. So obviously if we're starting the reaction with this, that means that by the end of the reaction we're not going to end up with more carbon dioxide, it's going to be less a certain amount, so 50 minus x. Now if we lose whatever amount of this we lose, which is the x, it's going to be um, times, sorry, I'm just going to tidy that up, each x is going to be times by 2, so 1 mole creates 2. So if we lose whatever value of x we lose, this is going to be double that, so it's going to be 2x. Okay. Now if we just set that up as an equation, that's 60 mils is going to be equal to that 50 mils less whatever that value of x is plus whatever the 2x equals we can work that out and that's going to be 60 mils equals 50 now minus x plus 2x equals 50 plus x and if we arrange that we're going to get 10 mils equals x so what does that tell? well it tells us that the carbon monoxide equals 20 mils and the carbon dioxide equals 40 mils. So let's look at the actual graph from the previous question and see if we can interpret this. Okay, now if we look at the graph, 40 mils CO2 and 20 mils CO, and as we're dealing um, with these ratios, that means obviously 20 to 40 is roughly one third of the total, 20 you know, out of a total of 60 mils and that would be, if we could follow the carbon monoxide one, would be around here. So that comes down to that point on the graph, and that should be the same point for 40, because they add up, and it'll be that point up there, 0.6, oh, I'm not doing a good job there, but 0.67, something like that. So that's around 480 degrees, something like that. So, um, obviously, you know, your um, ruling on the graph should be accurate. You don't just make a guess like I've done there. But if you understand the technique, you'd um, basically rule down, having ruled across, so you do your interpolation um, as accurately as you can. Okay? And that's that question.